Approximately 90 million years ago, Antarctica was home to a vast tropical rainforest filled with exotic flora and fauna. However, everything changed when the Ice Age arrived and it became the tundra we know today. With an area of 13.7 million square kilometers, most of which is completely covered in ice and snow throughout the year, there are many secrets hidden below the surface. The melting ice in Antarctica has revealed amazing features, such as peculiar microorganisms and glaciers that emit sounds. These discoveries show us the surprising diversity and mystery of this region, but also remind us of the importance of protecting and preserving this fragile ecosystem. Allen Hills 84001 Known as ALH84001, it is a fragment of a meteorite from Mars that was discovered in the Allen Hills region of Antarctica. It was found on December 27, 1984 by a team of American meteorite hunters from the ANSMED project. This meteorite, weighing 1.93 kilograms, belongs to the Shergatite Naklite Chassignite group and is believed to have formed approximately 4.09 billion years ago from Martian molten rock. Its Martian origin has been confirmed by chemical analysis, which revealed the presence of liquid water on the surface of Mars in that period. The discovery of ALH84001 in Antarctica is due to ground conditions that make it easier to detect objects that do not belong to the environment. The ANSMET project makes annual expeditions to Antarctica, where they have found impressive rocks. It was Roberta Esker, Antarctic Meteorite Laboratory Manager, who discovered it in the remote Western Allen Hills Ice Field. In 2005, Research was carried out to study the origin of ALH84001. Based on analyses, the meteorite appears to have broken off from Eos Chasma in the Valles Marineris Canyon, due to a meteorite impact approximately 17 million years ago. Radiometric dating studies indicate that ALH84001 arrived on Earth around 13,000 years ago. This meteorite has generated great interest due to the possible signs of biological life that have been raised on it. In 1996, a group of experts claimed to have found evidence of Martian microorganisms in the meteorite, sparking intense debate. Although this theory was quickly rejected by most of the scientific community, it set a precedent for future advances in the field of astrobiology. Although the existence of Martian life on this meteorite has not been confirmed, its study has been instrumental in exploring the possibility of alien microorganisms on other celestial bodies. This reminds us that, even if ALH84001 did not contain fossilized bacteria, we should not rule out the possibility of extraterrestrial life hidden in the core of other meteorites. The Pyramids Renowned geologists have long believed that ancient humans never settled Antarctica due to its hostile climate. Incredibly, however, in 2016 satellite images revealed a curious formation emerging from the ice, and some researchers believe it could be a man-made pyramid. Recently, there have been a number of reports about huge pyramids in Antarctica rising out of the ice and looking perfect, just like the ones in Egypt, but surpassing them in size. One of them has perfectly square bases that cover two square kilometers in each direction. It is therefore possible that our ancestors actually reached the Antarctic continent, perhaps even settled there, a man-made pyramid beneath the Antarctic ice. If such an incredible notion is true, then we naturally have some questions. How was such a massive structure built in Antarctica? When was it made and by whom? Geologists have informed us that Antarctica has been under ice for many millions of years. However, there is evidence that it may have been ice-free, at least in certain areas, until perhaps 4000 BC. There are numerous stories from Polynesia about so-called culture heroes who came to the Antarctic continent. A French academic named Argo collected all these different stories in a book entitled Out of Antarctica, The Stories of the Polynesian People. They describe this strange land with white rocks emerging from the water, which are actually icebergs, and other creatures like seals and penguins, 
which seems to describe an area we now know as Antarctica. The Polynesian people believed that this was the place of their ancestors and said, this is where we originally came from. Is it really possible that the coldest place on earth was once warm enough for humans to inhabit? Well, in 2017, German geologists collected core samples from deep under the frozen seafloor of Antarctica to analyze what the continent's climate might have been like thousands of years ago. What they discovered was amazing. In the case of that expedition in early 2017, we used very special seabed drilling equipment that had never been used in Antarctica before. When we use this special drilling rig, we come across the sediments and instantly see more than 60 different varieties of plants that resemble what one might find in a tropical rainforest in a temperature regime similar to what we know today in the north of Italy. Finding that on the Antarctic continent was very exciting because current weather conditions do not allow any vegetation to survive in those conditions. Blood Falls In Antarctica a red waterfall called Blood Falls has been discovered. Geologist Griffith Taylor found it in 1911 and the color was believed to be due to red algae. However, it was recently discovered that the water comes from a subglacial lake rich in iron and salt. The water is expelled under pressure and oxidizes on contact with oxygen, which gives it its red color. This waterfall offers scientists the opportunity to study microbial life without having to drill through the ice. The lake was closed millions of years ago and serves as a time capsule housing unique microbial species that have evolved under extreme conditions. It is believed that other similar lakes exist under the frozen surface of Antarctica. The Singing Glacier The researchers found that the Ross Ice Shelf emits a chant. Using seismic sensors, the scientists found that the top layer of snow on the glacier constantly produces a seismic hum with a frequency of 5 Hz. The sound is described as the constant blowing of a flute and varies in pitch due to events such as storms and the melting of surface snow. This ridge provides information about the movements of the ice shelf surface and helps to assess its stability and fragility. Although not audible to humans, this song has become a valuable tool for monitoring the environment and its impact on the glacier, revealing the amazing way the ice structure communicates with us. Is it possible that we will soon discover a glacier that sings melodies that humans can hear too? A hidden world. A hidden world has been discovered 1,600 feet under the ice in Antarctica. The researchers found an underground ecosystem with small shrimp-like organisms below the Larsen ice shelf. Using a hot water hose, they dug until they reached a hidden chamber underground. Amphipods were found swimming around the chamber, surprising the research team. This indicates the existence of an ongoing ecosystem process at extreme depth. It was also discovered that the underground cavern did not resemble what had been predicted, with an irregular ceiling and a column of water divided into several layers. The eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hapai volcano, far away, generated pressure waves that affected the underground chamber. This discovery demonstrates the interconnection of the different elements of our planet. In this frozen and mystical world, anything is possible. I hope you liked our video. I invite you to subscribe and activate the bell to find out about each new video. Until next time.